Hi guys, welcome back to Exploring Kids. Today we're going to learn how to solve a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. So, compared to 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube, a 2x3 three Rubik's Cube does not have much formula. It has only three formulas, only three, in solving the Rubik's Cube. But 3x3 three three could be a little tricky, so we can have more than a few um, formulas, I should say, to solve. Let's get started. Guys, if you did not watch my 2x2 and 3x3 Rubik's Basics, you should watch that before you start um, watching this video. Since if you watch that, you can watch, you can not watch typically, solve this at ease. Okay? Now, what we have to do is, first things first, we have to make, find a color. We're going to solve. Let's solve maybe... The white let's solve the white so in order to solve the white you have to make a daisy with the opposite color so let's find the opposite color of white which is yellow and make a daisy so that means white here white here white here white here but not in the middle let's do that there's no specific formula for that guys so let's do it so guys um if you have your piece right under where you're supposed to be over here what you have to do is you have to just do this formula. If it's in the middle, you can go to left or right. If it's in, if it's on the um, right side, it'll go to the left. If it's on the left side, it'll go to the right. So I'm also go this way because I'm also go this way. I make only this one come down. I make sure this doesn't come down. I'm gonna put this over here and I make this go up. I push this this way. And we got these two in this face. Let's do that on and on. Where could the other one be? Oh, it's all here. And then last but not least. This one. Now that we have our daisy, what we have to do is we have to find, or not typically find, make sure that these colors line up over here. These, 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 and these. But on, only one pair does, not everything else. So let's get to those two. So this is blue. So let's keep the blue on this side. Blue, blue, red, orange, and green shape has changed places. So we'll just do this. Hello. Put this aside, put this aside, turn this around, put this aside. Now, they're all matched up. So what we have to do now is we have to make sure we take this side and make it go to the bottom two times. One, two. Turn it around and do it to all four sides of that. So one, two. Turn it around. One, two. Turn it around. One, two. And then, voila. It's white. Did I see the white thing? Okay. Now, what we have to do is we have to make sure we solve these edge pieces. Not edge, the corner pieces, I should say. So we've got to find the two matching colors here, which are red and blue. So I should find the white, red, and blue piece, which is over on... It is on, it is on, it is on... I don't know, where is it? I think I lost it. Uh-oh. It's in the bottom or corner. Red, blue. Okay, found it. It, it is over here. Now, where's the red blue set? Oh my god, it was right on here all the time. I didn't find it. Okay. Let's go to this formula again. Remember the same formula, guys? Just do the same formula. Left goes to the right. This side. Make it bring it down. Put this this way. Voila. This part solved. Next, we do that on and on. And bring it all the pieces. Orange and blue will be in this side. So, make this come like this. Same thing. This way, this time. This way, this time. This way. And then this way. Up. Next time, green, red, which should be on this side. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, and next one. Um, let's see, last white piece. Bring this way. Go like this. Just like this. Just like this. Like this. Just like this. Like this. And guys, look, we have solved the first side. Congratulations, guys! But this is only a little bit of what we learned so far. So, you can also see that we also solved the whole, whole first layer. So, let's solve the second layer now. To start the second layer, what we have to do is we have to find the piece that matches two sides. Like how we find the corner pieces, we have to find the piece that matches on this side. So, if it's red, it should be a red and green piece. So, it should be like a red here and a green here. Let's find the piece. Red, yellow, no, 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 no. It is not here. Oh no, they're not good. Is it on the opposite way, maybe? Red and blue? 
burning yellow, yellow and orange, red and blue, blue, yellow. Oh, it's stuck over here. Okay, so we'll get it back. So then for now, let's get the step. In order to get that back, we have to solve these sides first. That'll be simpler. And guys, remember never, ever, ever to touch the sides that ha had the opposite color yellow with them. Blue and yellow, no. Unless it's mandatory, which I'll show you. We might have a case of mandatory. So then we might have to. So this is orange and blue. Do we find is it here? Orange and blue. Orange and blue. Orange and blue. Yellow. No orange and blue. So all we have here is red and blue. So we'll just start with red and blue. Well, even though it's not the second color, we have to do this. So then we can do another formula again. Same formula, actually. So, yeah. I'll show you. Okay, here. Now that piece is here, we have to do this formula. We have to make sure it goes like this. First, we take the bottom part. This way. Then this. Then we make this go this way. Then this. Then we turn it all the way around here. And then we do this, make this come down, make this go this way, and make this come this way. And now our blue and red piece is in the proper side now, blue and red. Now we do the formula one more time, and I'll show you one magic in one second. Voila, it's in the place we need it to be. Now, next pieces. Um, red and yellow, blue and yellow, whatever yellow, orange and blue. Okay, this one's correct for us. So guys, remember how the thing we did? That was a mandatory situation. So if you had an opposite color, you have to take it then. But it's okay if you didn't have to take it. Now we just gotta break these two sides and move them to the second layer, guys. I know that only took a few minutes. Mm, where could it be? Where could it be? Where could it be? We have we need red and green, and we need green and orange. Let's find one of those. Red and orange and green. Opposite way, but you know what to do, guys. Do the formula three times. Make this go this way. Okay. Now let's find that it's over here. Think properly. No, 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 no. Yeah, I guess I just like coming. Okay. Almost there. Where is it? Orange and green. Where are you? Green and orange actually, I should say. Now this way. Do the formula one more time. And. Here's the magic. We saw this side, this side, and half of this, these two sides. And now we just gotta do this one more cube. This is a cube, red and green, or green and red. Okay, this this came out perfect for us. It's in the correct spot. So I'll just do this formula once, and we will be done with the second layer. Like guys, it only took around six minutes to um solve only the two layers and one side. So it shouldn't be that hard to solve only one more layer left. So now let's solve the third layer. Guys, solving the third layer wouldn't be much hectic for me since I have my yellow plus sign here. If you guys don't have the opposite colors plus sign, I'll tell you one formula. You have to do that formula. If you have it, you can just wait like me. So, again, wait, we're not going to solve this side. We're not going to solve the third layer first. We're going to have to solve the top layer in order to solve the third layer. So That's a little confusing, but don't worry. It's going to be easy. So, this is the formula. F right up left right out up right right in f left guys that was the formula and solve oh not sorry making the plus sign with the opposite color do that many times you won't get it once so after you get it um the plus sign you can start the next formula like us so now to start the next formula some people might have a plus sign like this and a dot over here. Or just a regular plus sign. Or a plus sign like this and a dot over here. Or a plus sign like this and two dots. Anyway, it doesn't matter. All you have to do, all you have to have is a plus sign. So that's mandatory, a plus sign. Now, you have to do this one formula to get um all four sides. But it won't come all at once. You have to repeat it on and on, I guess, again. So, the formula is right, out, up, left, right, in. Up, left, right, out, up, left, left, right, in. So guys, I only told you this formula and the previous formula because they are very, very hard formulas. So the hard formulas I'll be repeating. And now let's solve this. 
do it formula on and on, on and on, on and on, on, on. You can turn it around once in a while, guys. Don't forget to do that. Three hours later. Do not lie about our time, guys. So, guys, that took me a very, very long. And finally, got it solved. And we have here at the side, so you can turn it around so it lines up. And now we have this much, it didn't get solved. And to solve that part, what we have to do is we have to just do this one formula. It's this formula, let's do it. It's right, take the right part, we can go in, to take the right, take this part, in, okay? F, right, right, in. In the back part, you take left two times, one, two, right out f left right in back left two times and then right out two times and then we have everything in that spaces and it's some progress not bad but it's what we got so now it's called orient edges so i had to turn the part to see that i have orient edges if you guys don't be careful after each time you do the formula and maybe you mess it up once in a while it's not good guys but it's okay if you want to re you can rewatch the video but this is the place we need to come to orient edges it's when only the middle edges piece edge pieces don't match everything else matches up and now to solve this we have one more formula left i know but we're finally here at the end yay okay so what we have to do is this this is a very very hard formula guys i'm going to repeat this many times so listen carefully sometimes people might have a fully solved a fully solved side <laughs> and so if you have fully solved side keep it to the back if you don't it's okay so now let's start make f right two times f right one f right two okay and then up left the left part in right part in f right two times one two left out right out up left f right two times okay guys i was telling you that we might have a situation of one side solved which we do so let's repeat the formula again we're keeping the side solved face, facing back so we might get it this time guys no high hopes though. I'm going to put the formula again. F right. Two times. F right. So again here. Up left. Left in. Right in. F right. F right. Left out. Right out. Up left. And then F right two times guys. Woohoo, guys! Congratulations, you solved the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube! If your Rubik's Cube wasn't as fast as mine, and you're still repeating formula, go ahead, don't rush, don't worry. If you rush, you're gonna lose all your progress you made. So, and people who didn't solve it right now, congratulations in the future then. So, guys, some people make checkerboard. So, I'm gonna show you checkerboard and how to unsolve checkerboard and how to make checkerboard before we end this video. Checkerboard is when you just find an opposite side and make sure you have the opposite color. I end up with two sides like this. Okay? And then you turn these parts around to the opposite side. Two times, one, two. And then you turn it around here. And this part, you also do the same thing. So you turn it up. And then you do this. And then this. This is all checkerboard. Okay? To unsolve it, simple. Make this go back two times. This go out two times. And then you can turn it with this. Make this go out two times. Make this go out two times. And then you turn it like this and you turn it around. And then make this go out two times. Make this go out two times. And then there, you unsolve checkerboard and solve checkerboard, guys. I congratulate you guys on solving the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube in very few minutes. Okay, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!